hello everyone. So we're just getting some extra names in case people aren't here. So I'm going to waste some time by talking about the AI challenge quickly. So the idea is that I'm going to try and do it every year because every time you play, you make it stronger. So the uh, AKA talk dirty to me. So the idea is just these different levels um, and you prompt the AI. Uh, you do a prompt and you try and get the password back. Um, we had quite a few players this year. I fixed some bugs in production. Um, but the idea is, luckily I didn't tell anyone, I just pushed the code. But um, the idea is with this is that we still have a lot of people come every year that haven't actually done pen testing or struggle with some of the challenges. So we're trying to make it a little bit more accessible. And then um, I'm going to open source most of this so the models and stuff will be available so you can look at how to do it, do prompt injection, protection, those kinds of things, and what works and what doesn't. Um, while everyone's here, let's quickly talk about the last one if it loads. So uh, the last level, because a lot of people missed it, you actually have to upload a photo as well. So it's um, the new GPT-4 vision allows you to do both a prompt and a photo. And if you have a page um, that you've written on in the photo, you can create a prompt out of that as well. So that's kind of the idea if, you, if, if that wasn't clear, because I did code a lot of this at night and very quickly. So in my mind, all of this makes sense. <laughs> In yours, maybe not so. So, um, yeah, pretty much, sorry for the emails. I was lazy. I used the framework. Um, but um, we had quite a few contenders, a little bit of a rocky start. But um, first person, are you here? I, I, at least I know Ross knows him, um, so we'll probably, I'll still get something to him. Second place, I mean, I also have to say, uh, I'm starting with this, because as the challenges go further, the wilder the nicknames got, <laughs> and the dirty talking was in this challenge, <laughs> and all of this is still fine. Uh, second person around, hey. Yay! Unfortunate considering the, the first person got through the image challenge and I still don't know how. But anyway, <laughs> number three, now number two. Uh, Code Hunter at Fake. Number four, now number three. Hey. So just FYI, I'm going to delete all the emails and keep the prompts because I'm going to train the evil AI again. It is prompt injection. It's all text. I'm trusting that you're telling me the right things, right? Uh, so like the first one went, we're going to see how many names we can find. Um, I'm going to start with the Jeopardy CTF. Um, so also three winners. J function. Hey. Hey. Okay, these names are still okay, and so far one out of three. Okay, Toko. Hey. Number two. Hey. The infamous Toko on Hack South. Okay, no pressure. Uh, I don't know if that's spelled wrong. Michael Kotzier or Kutzer. Ah. All right. So, so far we've got two challenges down. This one's still okay. We'll leave the best for last. Uh, Scav Hunt CTF. Uh, number one, Sin Stalker. Yeah. 
very persistent and a good CTF player. There you heard it. It's not what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> Social Engineering 101. Um, second prize, Roth ZA. Hey. Around. Ah, okay. Unfortunate. Then, uh, new second place is Blessing. Slight overachiever all the way from Arari, first B sides volunteer and winner of a CTF. Okay, third place, uh, Rafik Raloon. Hey. Now for the elastic challenge on my reckoning. Uh, <laughs> let's start at number three. <laughs> and, okay. J, G, sleep with me. <laughs> Eight or nine years at B-Sides, this is uh, the culmination of many years of hard work. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, second place, Jerky Beef. This one, spicy and being number one, but glass cold. Again. That's it. Um, and then just give us a second and we'll hand over to Jared. And thanks everyone for playing as well. We know that it's quite a chaotic day, lots of things going on, but uh, it adds to the fun and hopefully you learn something as well. And if our challenges suck, uh, please tell it to the AI. Um, it does respond, we're not taking any tickets. Hey, uh, so very important, uh, I guess, exciting announcement, I guess. So uh, following the success of Hexcon in Joburg, we've decided that perhaps Joburg should get its own B-side as kind of an extension of this conference. So in July of next year, we're going to start uh, B-sides uh, Joburg. Um, please get involved. Um, our Twitter handle is at B-Sides Joburg. So um, if you are interested in volunteering or being part of the organizing team, or if you represent a corporate and would like to be a, a sponsor or help out in any other way, um, please reach out to us. Like I think it's a good initiative to kind of grow and extend our cybersecurity family, I guess. Um, so yeah, so I hope Hopefully we'll see most of you at Besides Sherbrooke in July of next year. Cool. Should have put, everyone had loved my uh, wallpapers earlier. We should have had that up. All right, we're going to get through this. It's all good. Right. Um, I plan to write this earlier uh, in the year and the week. Uh, I finished it like two hours ago. <laughs> but we should be fine. We should be fine. So, what a day's been. Oh, fuck me. Right? <laughs> it's been a day, eh? It's been fun. I've had fun, yeah. Right, what a day it has been. A day that has been planned from early January. 
dare I say, from the evening after B-Sides 2022, when we were all croaking around with tired feet, with all those steps, uh, at our, uh, back at our accommodation, sitting around so many pizza boxes, wondering and imagining a bigger, better B-Sides 2023. And here we are, at the end of B-Sides 2023. I wonder what the plan is for next year. Uh, have you thought about it? We have. The conference has continued its rise from the dormancy of COVID. It is full of life and possibility. The gathering is like a child, a child, naughty child sometimes, a child we all raise and care for and bankroll, thanks to the sponsors. Uh, and the little bugger keeps growing. Through all the mistakes and missed opportunities, the ideas that fell at the waistline, they were many, the long, 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 long nights. The weekends I sat aping away with a handful of like-minded people till the twilight of the morning, building sponsor packs and setting up a, CTF, a CFP platform. It was a good idea this year, but yes, it was complicated to get the documentation right. Finding ways, I put this in and I forgot to correct it. It says, yeah, finding ways to do me be better. <laughs> ah. Right, to build this gathering into something everyone would enjoy, everyone would remember, and a conference that left a lasting impact on those that decided to simply just show up with a valid ticket, of course. <laughs> Is everyone wearing their badges? Right, so. In 2023, we established four pillars, which I realized after some conversations with my fellow organizers, a couple were not aware of. And those were something for everyone. One thing I wanted to achieve as the chairperson for this year was I wanted there to be something for everyone to do. Technical talks, non-technical talks. It's part of the reason why I brought in scavenger hunting. My sister was a, a volunteer last year uh, and she had solved something where someone kept running around going, who's Singe? Who is Singe? And my sister was like, oh, that's Dominic White. And then they won something with a vending machine. So I wanted something that the, the not the simplest mind, but people that haven't maybe got that technical might still have something fun to do. And I, I think everyone enjoyed it. Uh, the other one was connecting people, uh, the, the non-standard uh, PG way. Uh, <laughs> Uh, one of the big things we've tried to do since last year was also give value back to our sponsors. So sure, if you want to give us some, you, you want to give us your money and your logo and say cheers, have a good one, you're welcome to. But we really tried to partner with our sponsors this year. We had phone calls with everyone. I've done phone calls with Sarietta. I call her more than my sister. Um, and another part was I wanted people to leave here having learned something. Yes, we always learn fun and interesting things with the talks but getting something tangible that you can take back to your employer or your potential future employer. Um, you know, the skill set and a new bit of knowledge. So, uh, something could be said about why we do this. I often, uh, I often question myself. This year, this conference pushed me to some limits in what I believe has been my toughest year. Uh, a tough year for many attending, I believe. We almost... Uh, we almost lost it all, uh, my wife and I. But with fleeting thoughts of throwing in the towel on B-sides, I just never could. It needs me, it needs you, all of you, and perhaps we need it. The annual pilgrimage, I thought that was going to be the hardest part. I struggled with it earlier. But anyway, the annual pilgrimage of that con that happens at the first weekend of December every year, clashing with all your year-end plans for 2023 <laughs> is over. This whole gathering could not be possible and would not evolve from these many minds to little actions. Oh, that was tasty. From these many minds to little actions, one step after the next without a few key people, partners and sponsors. To our platinum sponsors, Obscure Technologies, thank you so much for stepping up to take the big spot this year. <clears throat> I 
don't know why I'm struggling with this one. Right. It's actually a funny story. You know, big sponsor, it's a lot of money. You thought there'd be a lot of thought and consideration and budgetary meetings and obscure. So actually, it's a funny story. Between one of their people buying a ticket to asking about sponsorship to their CEO, Justin Lee, saying, I'll PG it, he said, full send. <laughs> <laughs> we want to do platinum. Must we, uh, it must have been about 10 minutes. Uh, and our first thoughts were, who the hell is obscure? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you now that much confidence. I think we all know who, a whole lot more about them now. Thank you so much. To our gold sponsors, Enclose and Tenable, returning once again. A Cyber Reason, the new kid on the B-Sides block. And to Orange Cyber Defense, one of our longest standing, the longest standing sponsors. Thank you all for your contributions and the collaborative actions you took with us this year. Thank you. So, what do you know? BRTM, these folks came in mad late to help us cover AV. Fun fact, fun fact. Recording the spoken word in a format of good quality costs a damn load more than I expected or budgeted for. Jared, thanks for all your graft on AV. I know I pissed you off a lot, but it looks like it worked out very well. <laughs> then our trusty silver sponsors, you know who you are. Thank you for being here and still making the call to fork out some of the moolah for the masses. We really had a great variety, some old faces and new, just the way we like it. This year, we tried a few new things. We wanted to thank the workshop facilitators uh, with Colin Domineo from 42 Crunch, uh, rocking the API things, and Marvin Goma with the crew from Elastic uh, for facilitating some sick trainings. Thank you all so much. Uh, then I want to give a special thanks to Okta, also came in super late, thanks to Sereta here, uh, for covering the workshop yesterday and today. Thank you for coming in on socialized notice. Quick one. Okta came to us and we were like, we're done with sponsors. My wife was like, Charlie, I can't send another Google form and another Excel spreadsheet. I'm, I'm, I'm up to here. And then I did the budget. I'm like, we might have a cash flow problem. <laughs> so I called Sarita. I'm like, hey, your friends at Okta, do you do that? She's like, how much do you need? I'm like, I think we can do it for this. And she's like, how much? I'm like, Mate. she's like, right, 55K, done. And it was through. And that paid for yesterday. Uh, I think the Friday workshops were a good experiment and we should, we should continue it. 65 minds leveled up, baby. Right, to the vaults, damn, you folks did a killer job. Can we get a round of applause for the volunteers, please? We, uh, we, had, we had people flying in from Zim. We had people getting buses from Joburg, but they all just wanted to be here. And every time we heard they were not within the dialing code of Cape Town, we were like, are you sh we, we're, we're a fun conference, we're a cool conference, but are you sure you want to do this? And they're like, full send, let's do it. <laughs> we hope we didn't work you too hard. We are so thankful for you giving up your time to make this special day Without you, us organizers would probably die. <laughs> right, to the organizers, job done. Thanks, same time again, same time again next year, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm seriously, on that note, we had a, we, <laughs> I'm shooting myself in the foot here. We had a damn meeting run by the worst person to run meetings, me. <laughs> we took minutes, well, sometimes. <laughs> Deep in tooth, my wife said every Thursday, uh, oh, deep in the tooth, my wife said. Every Thursday since late Jan. Every Thursday. We had about 40 Google Sheets between us and a ridiculously granular Trello board, which I have to say we actually used this year. It helps when you do that. And not the usual, add all the things, make it pretty, and then never open it again like I did last year. 
I literally added like 200 items last year. I've broken it down so granular. Right, to the organizers, Mayan on the interviews, Mike on the vending machine magic, Roberto on vaults, and finding that box that needed two locks, that was like a thing for me. I was like, we need a box for lock picking that takes two locks, and he found it. Yeah. As you with the door score, praat met Roberto. Right. Right, so Roberto was on the vaults. Nuno, Nuno, where's Nuno? Nuno. Nuno, quote unquote, the on the day Johnny on the spot organizer. Uh, Jeff, the games and CTF guy. Jared, the AV and MailChimp wizard, amongst other things. You have done one, you, you have one job I never want. So I'm thankful for you. To my fellow directors, Goose and Megalodon, job done. <laughs> then, then my wife, my wife is an organizer, a formal official with a valid organizer ticket. Uh, Shella, chief of sponsors, venue and snacks through the year. Same time next year, right love? The, this year was not so bad. Before this conference of the way, she's like, Charlie, this is it. I'm not doing this again. And by the end of it, she's like, yes, that, well, that was fun, eh? We should do this again. <laughs> we have a lot of arguments about this, usually about the venue, but next year we're using an events planner for the venue. Uh, I just want to highlight a few key people. I've almost made it through. Ross and Dale, the scav hunt was epic. That scav hunt started with me going, because I don't understand a lot of things. And I was like, I said to the guys, like, you know what would be fun? It's like an NFC type thing. And then I told people, like, go understand NFCs and come tell me how it works to see if it's viable. They realized it wasn't. And then I was like, this thing is going nowhere. And I was like, what do I do? And I was like, I was like, I messaged Ross. I think it was like midnight one night. I was like, hey, bro, what you have to? He's like, oh, nothing much. And I was like, can you chat? And I 100% just planted a seed in his mind that I knew he would take. And in the end, we had a really good scavenger hunt. I thought it was epic. Uh, to Ivan and Veronica and all the helpers for the CTF, thank you. We wanted to move away from potentially a traditional hack-the-box model this year. Maybe it was a good idea, maybe it was a bad idea, but I think everyone enjoyed it. To Sarieta from Obscure, you are a damn force. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, you, the, we're your favorite, remember that. <laughs> right, to uh, Dylan from Orange Cyber Defense, thank you for your guidance with marketing. I still don't understand it, but all I know is many pretty posts make numbers go boom. <laughs> and then... Okay. Yes, 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 I got that. Right, and then uh, I'd like to thank uh, Rogan and the whole team with the vending machine. That thing, I think I asked on the, uh, on the, we had a vending machine channel, and the question I asked more on that channel was like, guys, what is the plan to get the vending machine to the venue? <laughs> guys, what is, how are we getting the vending machine to the venue? Do I need to get a truck? Do I need to get some, some strong labor? Like, and at one point I realized, oh, but we can put it in the elevator. And then I got the measurements for the elevator. So I asked one of the guys, like, how, how big is the vending machine? And they said, effing big, effing tall. <laughs> so I was like, so I was like, and then I thought, oh, sent. I was like, find me a picture of someone standing in front of it. And there's a photo of Mike standing there. I'm like, Mike, how tall are you? He's like, tall. I'm like, oh. <laughs> So I was like, just bring it and we'll figure it out. Uh, I think everyone had fun with that and well done. It worked really well this year. Hey? Yeah, we, we're taking it to the... Yeah, that's actually a great idea. Oh, the next question, biggest question I asked was, what are we doing with it afterwards? Because what I don't want to do is sickle with that thing after this conference. I think we just throw it in the sea, hey? <laughs> right, lastly, Thomas, is he here? Thomas? Thomas, Thomas the artist, I think you did a beast job. If you don't use him, is your swag even good? <laughs> Thomas did all the designs and then I, I pulled him into other things I had and we sat so many nights just going through designs. His first iterations were like, I was like, oh, this looks like Dracula. 
And so we evolved and evolved, and the three concepts we finished with in the end, we actually ended up using all three. Everything you've seen with B-Size today, he designed. The coins, the T-shirts. And just by the way, he didn't volunteer it. We paid him, not pay him that much, but he, he, he did a phenomenal job. Right, enough of that. Right, we have an after party upstairs. We have a bar tab. We have some pizzas. Mobius is sponsoring first round with some cool glasses. I don't know whether they're gonna pour the beer or the cool thing in the glass or give you the glass and the, just, we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's not a, not a Mobius problem, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a venue problem. Um, Graham, where's Graham? Uh, just uh, make sure a set of six is in my boot, please. Uh, and then our after party sponsors, Bitcrack, uh, Dimitri and them couldn't be here. Uh, they let me ask no uh, late last night, but uh, it's unfortunate they're not here. They're usually here. Uh, thanks for the Joel and the, and the pizzas. Looking at the amount of people here, I'm hoping we have enough pizzas, but uh, Uber Eats is always an option, right? Everyone, get home safely, pass on the word, post your swag on socials, and in 2024, buy your tickets early. Because <laughs> Because word on the street is we sell out. Thank you. I'm out. Oh, one last thing. I probably forgot people. I'm super confident I forgot people, like the Media Academy, which I just thought about. At the after party, I'm going to make a thing about it and say, dude, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> These are the nightmares that I have. <laughs>